For a long time, it seemed like the UFC surpassed boxing, but as in recent times, it seems like the tides have turned. Boxing has made generational growth in the past year or so. There's been so many amazing fights with the best fighters fighting each other, and there's plenty more to come. Where on the other hand, the UFC always has the best fighting the best, but in recent times, the people who are winning aren't the ones we want to see win. The inspiration I got from this video came from a UFC fight a few weeks back. It came from the big fight of Sean O'Malley versus Marab, I'm not going to say his last name. But this fight to the fans was pretty boring for what the event was supposed to be. Marab pretty much just did his thing where he kind of laid on O'Malley, wasted time and beat the clock, but that was his strategy. This event was supposed to be huge as obviously it was in the sphere, and the co-main event really didn't help this either. Valentina Shevchenko beat Alexa Grasso by pretty much doing a similar thing, and obviously the fans don't really like that. And on the other hand, on the same night, we had a huge fight with Canelo and Edgar Belanga. That card outdid the UFC in my own opinion. The fight with Caleb Plant and Trevor McCombie was fireworks and it was such an amazing fight from start to finish. The co-main event was a little bit of a letdown where Danny Garcia wasn't really fighting back, but he would eventually get stopped. And then obviously the main event with Canelo and Berlanga was super entertaining as well with a knockdown and plenty of good moments in the fight. Obviously, you have to do what you need to do to win in a fight, but the main thing for both of these companies is obviously going to be entertainment. If the fans aren't being entertained, you're not going to sell tickets or sell pay-per-views. So when the UFC has champions such as Bilal Muhammad, Alejandro Pantoja, and Marab, it's not really the most exciting guys you want to see. But obviously, they're such good fighters and it's entertaining to some people, obviously. But for a casual fan, it's really not. But of course, not every champion is going to be the most exciting one. There's guys like Islam Makachev, Ilya Taporia, and obviously Alex Pereira, who are super entertaining. Where if we look on the other hand at boxing and see the biggest guys, we see a lot of the same things. Guys like Nawaya Anyway, Gervonta Davis, Terence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, Dmitry Bivol, and Archer Baturbiev, and Alexander Usyk, which are just a few to name. But all these guys, compared with those few UFC champions I just named, all bring that same thing. They have that superstar status and bring the entertainment in the ring. And now where we're finally seeing the best boxers fight the best boxers again, it's only going to bring more superstardom to these guys. The only wrong thing that I have about boxing is that when these guys lose, everyone kind of tends to get on their ass for it. But it seems like it's kind of changing a little bit as everyone's kind of getting that respect even after they lose when they have a comeback fight. Where in the UFC, these guys have a few losses on their records and every time they lose, people are so excited for their comeback fights just as much as they were for the fight beforehand. But boxing is really just on the hot streak right now and it doesn't seem like it's stopping anytime soon. In the upcoming weeks, we have the undisputed fight between Archer Baturbiev and Dmitry Bivol, which is going to be huge. And then just two months later, we have the rematch of Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, which is going to be another huge fight as well. The UFC does have a few good upcoming fights as well, with Alex Pereira versus Khalil Roundtree. And then the next month, we have Ilya Teporia versus Max Holloway, which is going to be a banger of a fight. And then obviously, we have the fight that everyone's been waiting for with John Jones and Sipe Miocic. Well, I don't know if everyone's been meaning to wait for it, but you have to wait for it. See, everyone thinks that John Jones is probably the best fighter in UFC history, but it's weird that he still has the UFC heavyweight title after it's been like a year or two since his last fight. And finally, the fans are kind of seeing this and they're kind of turning on him a little bit. John Jones has obviously wanted this fight with Stipe Miocic for a long time for some reason, because he knows that he'll probably most likely win this fight and then retire at the top. But there's another guy named Tom Aspinall who the fans obviously want him to fight, but it just doesn't seem like John's interested in that and it doesn't seem like it's happening anytime soon. Where on the other hand, we look at the boxing heavyweights and it's been a amazing recently. We just had the big fight with Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois, which was a banger. And like I said before, we have the amazing fight in a few months with Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk in their rematch. Seeing the best fight the best is what we want to see, and it's awesome to see it finally happening in boxing. But realistically, the UFC just kind of has to worry about these grapplers and boring fighters take over their exciting strikers. Obviously, wrestling could be very exciting to watch sometimes, but mostly the fans want to see striking and knockouts. Like I remember that fight with Max Holloway and Justin Gaethje, how exciting that was with that knockout in the final 10 seconds. I'm a fan of boxing in the UFC, and I don't really think that the UFC is going to go anywhere at this time. But when more of these guys that are boring keep winning, it's going to definitely tend fans away to watch their fights. Because obviously, at the end of the day, Dana White needs to make money and he needs to sell pay-per-views. Where on the other hand, boxing has been getting the best fights and obviously pay-per-view worthy fights. And with the help of the Saudis, both these companies are going to thrive very well. Which is probably another reason that these boxers are tending to fight each other now. Because the money is obviously there. But at the end of the day, it's just exciting to see the best guys and the most popular guys fight each other. And boxing is really thriving with that and it's looking very bright for the future. And on the other hand, obviously UFC is going to stay popular for pretty much forever. But when it comes to the fans and money, I don't think guys want to see these guys wrestle and just run around the ring wasting time for 5 minutes. The people want to see entertainment and they want to see knockouts. But with UFC's upcoming fights, I think that's going to change very shortly. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. What do you think is on top, UFC or boxing? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace.